So I was given some pieces of metal. Um, some of them already had some machining done to them. Um, some didn't. So out of those pieces, I cut three lengths as required from the drawing I was given and remade these units and the following video will be how I went about it. The only part I haven't shown is chopping them to length and um, just tidying them up in the lathe and putting a little chamfer on. Um, that was fairly straightforward and the rest of the work was done in the milling machine. And uh, you'll be able to see what sort of setup and tooling that I used. So these were made for um, MST, Motorsport Tools, um, for their car builds, their famous um, Ford Escorts. I'm not sure if these are for the Ford Escort or if it's a new car that they're developing. Um, but every now and again, uh, we're quite happy to do some prototype work for them so that they can design and build their, their wonderful cars. So there we are. Uh, that, that's just a, a prelude to the video you're now about to see. Thank you for watching. Um, so these um, bars fit these knuckle units, which have got a, a double D, hence the two flats to make a double D. And they fit into there. They're quite tight, um, but I, I, I assume that's how they want them because this this will open up and accept these. I have tried one, it does work. And this is pushed in until the little divot reaches where the bolt goes through and that acts as a, as a stop, a lock. So if, if this should come loose, the bolt won't allow this to fall out. So there we are. Hope you enjoy the video.
Right, I need to set this um, bar up um, 90 degrees to the way we had it before. And the way I'm going to do this is to use this planar gauge and I'm going to adjust it <coughs> so that I can This isn't super critical. Not none of this is super critical. Um, a lot of it's been done by eye with a little bit of measuring, um, which is how I've got away with out using precision instruments. Uh, but the planar gauge, uh, for those that don't know, this slides up and down this track. Yeah, you un undo this lock nut here, thumb screw and slide this up and down and this will ride up and down parallel to the bottom face. Um, it's great for taking internal measurements but here I'm just wiggling this till it's flat and tightening it down and then when we come around to the other side move the camera what we've got is this camera isn't brilliant at focusing at this. Just a sec. Try to be a bit more stable. Um, this camera isn't brilliant. It's close focusing. So please bear with me. We've changed the end mill to a 8mm. Because we're going to make this little divot. This, I'll show you in a minute. But this fits in a fitting. And this is a bolt. A securing bolt goes through here. Many of you will have seen these. Um, I'll just fetch one. So this is the fitting. Um, I don't know, the camera's in the way really, but basically we've got a D, um, a double D on the end which slides on and then the bolt goes through here and it sort of traps it here so if the bolt comes loose this can't fall off essentially until the bolt's taken out so what I've done is I've lined that one up this is one that I've got to copy so I've lined that up and uh, we'll swap the <coughs> end mill over now Oops and put it in the right way up just check that we've got enough clearance to do this job yeah it looks good we'll tighten that up with a chuck key spanner and there we are so what we've got here now is I can take this out um, Put, it, put the other end in, because I've got to do the same on the other end, and butt it up against this V-block, which is been squared up and clamped down. Uh, and, and we'll make these divots. So here goes. Obviously there's one in this end. So I'm going to turn it over and put one in the other end using my planar gauge to set it to 90. As I say, not super critical, but we want to be somewhere close. By eye, close is close enough. And now we're ready to um, switch the power on and machine that in I'm running at um, 1400 rpm for all the operations the previous operation this one here with a 20 mil cutter and this one uh, with the 8 mil cutter so basically 
I will start the. I will. So we're back here. Let me just um, zero on my Y. I'm going to just back off a little bit. <coughs> and bring the cutter down. So that's that one done. This is a shorter unit which we've machined both ends. I, I didn't put the divot in but I did machine both ends and I'll now do this one. So we can butt it up to there and of course my claim the gauge won't fit on the other side because it's short but no worries we can put it on this side. change the camera angle just to give you another perspective uh, one end's already no oh, both ends are done okay that's that then we're done once we've done it oh, I finished the job and didn't realise it okay so we're done and Hopefully it fits. It's tight, um, but that's more to do with the diameter uh, of the bar, which I've not been asked to adjust. So that'll keep it nice and tight in the unit and this, I won't knock it in now, but they could tap that in until they can get a bolt through there. And we are done.